Hey everybody, it's Kelly from My Sofa Home. Today I'm going to talk to you about designing a laundry room. After you listen to today's video and watch what's going on, you are going to be able to design or improve or create a beautiful laundry room that not only functions but looks fabulous. I have been working with clients both virtually and in person and I've been writing my blog and I've been doing my podcast for so many years now that I've helped thousands of people improve all kinds of spaces in their house. Today, I'm going to help you improve your laundry room. So my laundry room is not in the main house. It's in the barn, which is about 150 feet from the back door of my kitchen. And speaking of doors, I am in front of a door that we found in the barn when it was quite a mess and didn't have a laundry room in it. Um, and I just fell in love with this door. It's probably not for everyone. And the carpenters who were helping me at the house were just wondering when I was going to ask them to paint it. But I think it's great the way it is. It was original to the house. It has obviously layers and layers of paint and a patina that, you know, uh, I find really appealing and beautiful. So I put this on a, um, barn door track, and this is the door to the laundry room. Now, when we go into the laundry room, I'm really excited to show you what we've been doing, and it's finally finished. It took a long time, and I also have something really exciting for you. At the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how you can enter a giveaway for a $250 gift certificate. The laundry room is usually a small space that works really hard. So no matter where your laundry is located near your home, and no matter what size it is, uh, the suggestions I'm giving you today is gonna to make yours function better and be more fabulous. My first idea for you to design a functional and fabulous laundry room is to really focus in on the function part of it. This room is gonna work hard. A lot can go on in here, not just washing and drying, it could be folding, it could be ironing, it could be also partially a mud room, it might also be uh, partially a, even a butler's pantry, it might have a microwave or something in there, I do. And so we want to have a very simple layout where everything is accessible and you can perform the tasks that are necessary uh, without having to jump over hurdles and whatnot. And some hurdles are as clutter. So you want to get all the clutter out of the room. Anything that is not essential to the functionality of the laundry room should go elsewhere. And uh, you can certainly have some decor pieces, which we'll talk about later, but we're talking about things that really don't belong and aren't enhancing the space. They got to go. One item in my laundry room that really helps it function well is my steel canvas four bushel uh, laundry cart. I love this. Uh, Steel Canvas is a terrific company. It's a small company in Boston, Massachusetts. It's been around forever. And it has these industrial chic products that now people are discovering to use in their homes. These have been used commercially for years. Um, so I just love the look of it. It's metal and it's canvas and it has this really cool um, stamp from the Steel Canvas company. And the best part of it is I could just dump all the dirty laundry in. Well, really, the best part of it is that there's no dirty laundry in there right now, which is really great. And that's really only because I invited you guys over today. Um, usually it's piled high. Sometimes I even just put a towel over it so I don't have to look at it. But it can take a lot of clothes. Um, they even have ones that are divided, whites and darks. Uh, but I tend to just mix um, them in and pull them out and do the laundry separately. It's, I think just we have a lot more darks than whites, as you can tell. <laughs> so I highly recommend you checking out Steel Canvas Company. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, but this is a really great product. Or you can find something similar, uh, but I love the scale of it and also that it's wide open. It's just really easy to use and it looks pretty good too. My second suggestion to you in designing a fabulous laundry room is to choose the right machines. So obviously I'm talking about the machines of the washer and the dryer. I am not a big fan of these big giant machines on the pedestals for small, small person. Um, I find them to be overwhelming. And as we've discussed, most laundry rooms are in a smaller confined space. So you have these gigantic machines and it really leaves you not much room for anything else. Now, obviously we have these great machines and they're, they're working well for you, terrific. But if you're designing a laundry room or if it's time to replace a machine, I'm gonna suggest that you investigate the machines that I love. They're the Mila and they're Touchtronic and they are a European design. They're German. Germans work really hard, I know, because I'm married to one. And these machines are amazing. This is my second set. I had another set at our prior home in the stainless and I got the white this time. They are 
uh, only 24 inches wide and their counter height, which allows you to have space to do the folding. And if you want to put an ironing board and things like that, they're very compact. But as I said, they are so efficient and they work so hard. The idea is to fill them to absolute capacity and that's how they work the best. So that's when they have the best performance and um, the dryer works beautifully. What's going on with my dryer is I did not hook it up to the uh, water system. So you can have this gray water uh, aspect of it going on. Does anybody know what the gray water is? So if you don't, I'll tell you a little bit that I know about it. It's basically when you're capturing this water that you've used either from your um, dryer or your washer or your dishwasher, things like that. And then you can use it for other purposes like watering your plants. So I had the option of having the dryer hooked up to the sink once we got everything going here. Um, but initially I couldn't do that because the room was not finished and the plumbing wasn't finished. So I got used to just taking out the cartridge and dumping out the water. And so that's what I do now. And I can water my big container plants after every time I do a couple of dryer loads. So um, I can show you how that works. Okay, so the dryer's done. And just so when you're cleaning out the lint and whatnot, this, this is just another thing, step that you take. So you, this is the cartridge, it fills up with the water, you pull it all the way out. There's an opening at the end and I would take it outside and water my plants. So that's such a great use of the water and recycling it is a really smart idea. My third suggestion for creating a laundry room is to get yourself a countertop and a nice wide enough countertop that you can dump the clothes on top of if you have to. It's a place to fold, a place to do ironing, and also a place where you can put some decor if you'd like to. Um, if you don't have the space for an actual counter, you know, if you do have those larger machines, you might be able to fashion something where it folds down to the wall. I was thinking about that. Um, you know, they have those tables, sort of the half moon tables, like the demi moon tables that fold down. You could fashion something like that against the wall, put a board on hinges, and then maybe have two corbels that just hold it up. They can come out and go back to the wall and it can lay flat if you don't have a lot of space and you could just open it up when you needed it and, and then let it fold into the wall. I was lucky enough to be able to create a countertop in my laundry room because of the size of my machines, the height of them, and also because, oh my gosh, it was like really one of the worst days of the whole renovation as the marble for the kitchen was cut wrong. Oh, we put the seam in the wrong spot. So it had to come out. And so I had all this extra marble. I would never have marble in my laundry room, but we had this marble and it was just sitting outside what to do with it. And so to make myself feel a little bit better about the whole situation, we thought when the laundry room is ready, we're going to use it there. So that's why I have marble in my laundry room. It, it, it sort of, we kind of, you know, fashioned it to fit. It obviously wasn't measured for this space and whatnot, but it's really working. So you could use anything for a countertop. If you can run it on the top of your washer and the dryer, you could even use nice boards painted in a semi-gloss um, so they would easy to wipe off. Or you could use boards and paint them and then even get a piece of glass cut to put on top of it. So I think that having a countertop makes the room a lot more efficient. My fourth suggestion for designing a laundry room is to utilize beautiful things for your storage. Now you may have room for closed cabinetry. I have two closed cabinets here, but you know, they get filled up really easily. I have an iron, then I have um, you know, the OxyClean and some other items and other uh, cleaning supplies and whatnot. And so the things that I want to just reach for quickly, I have in beautiful containers on the countertop. So in this old uh, patinaed silver, I have my uh, washing pods. And then in this enamelware, I have my gardening gloves because mine, you know, laundry room also houses a lot of my gardening things. And do you want to know where I keep my dryer balls? Can you guess? Well, I keep them in here. Here's the extra dryer balls. If you guys don't use dryer balls, you really should start. So uh, they are terrific. And you, those dryer sheets are not so good for you or the environment. So try the dryer balls. It's a great option. And then, you know, obviously in a, dry, in a laundry room, I'm not getting a whole lot of sun. There are no windows or anything. So I do have a little faux boxwood ball. Um, and so this piece goes over in that corner. This, uh, the laundry pods tucks right in here. My washer's right here, really easy. And I'm not always grabbing for my gardening gloves, but they're up here. 
and I can just grab a new pair and off I go. My fifth suggestion for designing your laundry room is to think about the ceiling. It's a great room to really do something fun on the ceiling. It's usually small, it's contained, and why not have a little fun with it? You're in here doing stuff that's not really that fun, ironing and folding and whatnot. So it should be just a beautiful space. So we flanked the ceiling here in our laundry room, which is what we've used on many of the ceilings inside the house. So that creates a nice flow out here. Um, and it just adds another dimension to this room, which would otherwise be just a rectangle sort of shoebox style room. Now we could have painted it a different color. We could have gotten metallic paint, maybe even put up some wallpaper. So think about uh, a way to take your ceiling up a notch in your laundry room. You wanna know what I fantasize about? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's my sixth suggestion for designing a laundry room. It's a pickup station. But not only a pickup station, but a pickup station that actually gets used, that people actually pick up their clothes from. So my idea was when I spent some time thinking about designing my laundry room was how could I get my family to actually come and get their clean clothes and actually put them in their own drawers? So I came up with this idea because I had this old dresser that everybody's going to get a drawer and they're going to have their clothes in here and then I will just fold them here and I'll put them in and they'll, they'll scamper down and pick them up and take them back to their rooms. Not really working the way I imagined, but my one daughter who wears so where's a uniform to school? She does that in the morning. So I put her uniform in here. She's got her shirt and her skirt and her socks and her sweatshirts and whatnot that she can wear to school. And they're all in these two drawers. And she comes out in the morning and gets them. So it's starting to work. It's starting to catch on. But if you can try a pickup station in your laundry room, maybe your family will jump right on board. So just an old dresser I found at a thrift store. I painted it white. I even you know, still kept the old hardware and uh, filled it up with uh, people's clothes. And some people don't even know that they still have these clothes because they haven't opened the drawers. But these two are being used. So try a pickup station if that you think that might work in your laundry room for your family and let me know how it goes. So my seventh suggestion for creating a beautiful laundry room is add a sink if you can. And this is a terrific sink to add. It is a very low profile. It's not very expensive and it's super easy to install. It's the ALAP sink from Rejuvenation. So check it out. I can put the link in the uh, notes for this video. One funny thing happened though, I have to share with you guys. So I bought the sink, I was all excited. This is going to be in my laundry room. And I bought the faucet. Oh, I wanted a wall mount. Great. And they sat for months while we were doing other uh, renovation uh, inside and whatnot. And when the day came to put it together, we attached it, the sink to the wall and the faucet to the wall. And guess where the water went? And on the floor. Because the faucet stood out much further than the sink. But I thought, oh how can we fix this? So we just created this little box for the sink to sit on, which enabled us to have this little marble shelf. So, you know, kind of really made lemonade out of a lemon situation, but it was just so funny when the water was obviously going to pour on the floor. Um, so if you're going to get this ALAP sink and you want a wall mount, think about that as well. So that's a little tip. My eighth suggestion for designing a laundry room is to add a little wow, add some fabulous we've gone through all the functionality of the room now it's time to add something that is going to make you happy and make the space beautiful so i included these peel and stick tiles from aspect tile fantastic product uh, love the way it looks and it has the uh, brushed metal they have in all different types of finishes so i can add a link uh, to that in the description as well but they were really easy to install so that's my backsplash and then i decided to leave some open shelving uh, so I could have some vignettes and some decor. As I showed you, a lot of those pieces actually are multi-purposed as storage. So that's great. And some of it is just for the pretties, like the uh, vintage clothespins and the pile of old linens and things like that. Just adding a bit of charm. I spend time out here, so I want it to be beautiful. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video and then you got some great uh, suggestions and tips for your own laundry room. A lot of the things that we talked about could be applied to any space, uh, whether large or small. And also, this is the time I wanna tell you some more information about the giveaway. It's for D Lawless Hardware, which is a wonderful family owned hardware uh, shop in uh, Chicago, Illinois. And it's also online. 
they have a wonderful customer service, terrific prices, and a real great variety of beautifully made hardware. A lot of it is made right here in the USA. You saw that sort of blank wall above the steel canvas laundry cart. Well, I have now picked out some hardware from D. Lawless. I'm going to get three hooks and put it on an old piece of wood that I also found in the barn and have that above the laundry cart. So I'm super excited for those. They're actually salvaged pieces of hardware. So they have a lot of original pieces like that or one of a kind, I should say. So the link is down here in the description from the video. So click on over and enter and good luck. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe.